Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Callie, and if you take a good look at my channel, it's pretty random, okay? With that said, I am honing in on a focus here for this 2020. I have my vision. Um, with that said, this is just, okay, this is literally just, but maybe a small portion of the information that has been channeled to me. Um, with that said, I'll be making those into videos very soon as well, but this is a different topic. This is a different, um, this is a different thing altogether. And because of the nature of this video, I'm going to say, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'm asking you to do so now. Please subscribe because the more people I have behind me, the more confident I feel making videos like this, okay? Plain and simple. Um, so the title of this video is The Truth About War. And I will say now, this is something that is going to be very uncomfortable to hear. It was actually very uncomfortable for me to find this information out. Um, I have a really good filter. So I know when I hear something that is truth and I know when I hear something that is a lie, okay? I have a pretty good... Uh, discernment between truth and lies, all right? And uh, so with that said, I'm going to continue. I told everybody in my last video to look into the Federal Reserve, okay? If you haven't already did that, please look into the Federal Reserve. I'm not going to keep bringing it up, okay? With that said, um, money is, well, with that said, you can't really bring up war without than bringing up money. The two go hand in hand, okay? Money is continuously printed by the Federal Reserve, okay? Which, by result, okay, makes the people printing the money in control of the people who use the money, okay? Money is power in today's society. Um, but it's, it's, it's so much deeper than that, okay? Um, when we say money is continuously printed, you would think that the more money is being printed, the more money goes into the hands of the people. But that's not how it works. What happens is these people in control print a bunch of money that they then use to create and attain assets for themselves, okay? They build their skyscrapers. They build, you know, other things with this money that they then print, and uh, then they go and they offer the public loans and um, credit. I'm sorry. They offer loans and they offer credit. And so people don't actually get this money in their hands, but what they get is debt. And debt, if you ask me, is enslavement because now they have to work off this money that they never actually had in their hands, okay? That's a cycle all in itself. I'm not going to get too deep into that, okay? Um, so all this money being created obviously is what causes inflation. The more money we have, the more things cost, although you would think the more money we had, the less things cost, but that's not how it works because the more money they print, the more money they have to get back from the people, so they raise the prices of everything. So then that money that you do get that from working um, goes right back to them, okay? Um, pretty much the more you make, the less your money is worth, and because of inflation, no one will get more than what they already have, okay? It's pretty much set up like that and has always been set up like that. Um, basically, this information uh, was given to me and I went through it pretty thoroughly and was just like, whoa, I took a bunch of notes. So if you hear me rustling paper, that is why. Um, so... Some problems happen when inflation gets too high, okay? Things that used to be cheap then get expensive. People get a little sick of it, a little upset, and they start to either fight back or, you know, 
they start to have something to say and they get restless. They get, you know, when they start to fight back, it causes resistance. And when resistance happens, you know, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun for the people in control because it's the, the balance of control shaking, okay? Imagine, you know, the balance is like, scale you have the people in power and you have the masses and the masses it's always like this the more these people fight and realize what's going on you know the 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 scales can tip and uh they don't want that and if you w go back to germany during world war ii um Inflation actually got so high that in the end, people were burning their money just to stay warm when everything blew up. So this made the Germans really upset and they eventually wanted a new form of currency. However, in order to maintain the value of currency, you need balance, okay? And so have you ever heard of them saying, we need to balance the budget? Okay, what does this mean? Um, I'm going to have to do this in my next video, but I'm going to just give you three ways that a balance can be budgeted or a budget can be balanced. And then in my next video, I will go into more depth in explaining all these three things. Okay. Number one is they can stop printing more money. Okay. That's one way to balance, to pretty much balance and maintain the value of money. They can stop printing it. The next is to remove excess money, all right? And, uh, well, remove excess money from circulation. And they do this, they do this already by taxation, um, welfare, research, uh, you know, like NASA and different charities, and then our defense programs, okay? Um, but that's still, you know, that's not always enough, so. The last one and the most disturbing one, okay? They can stop printing money, which they're not going to do because that means if they stop printing more money, then their control starts to, you know, more money, more control. It's very simple. Um, so they can start removing excess money, but it's really hard because they can't just go take the money. So they, they give us taxes. They make us pay for all these crazy things that, you know, doesn't really benefit us as a whole all right and when none of that works and there's still an imbalance and it's starting to drop the value of our currency they start a war okay no what's happening what's happening oh my god please stop oh my gosh <sighs> excuse me okay that drives me nuts like, the timing was just ridiculous. Okay. That will not happen again. So, yes. They start a war. And uh, we're coming up on our 10 year. And I'm going to be explaining this in the other video. Because as you guys know, I only get 10 minutes. And I don't have the time right now to uh, spend editing my videos. Because this information needs to get out there. And I also don't have the space on my computer okay i need a new computer so desperately because i can't even upload my videos the way i want to because i don't want to just you know put them on i want to at least say some stuff in the description give you guys links ways you can contact me um with that said yeah i gotta wrap this one up i'm at 902 so if you have not subscribed to my channel okay subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell if you want to know when i'm uploading more videos i need people to see these videos i need people to subscribe to my channel i need the backing okay i wouldn't i wouldn't ask any other way but this information i'm going to be giving you guys is very um it's very sensitive information, okay? This is not information you'll find a lot of places, and it's not information you'll find a lot of people sharing for reasons of use your, use your logic to figure it out, okay? So please subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll be putting my contact information in the descriptions below. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Stay tuned. The next video will be uploaded right after this because I'm on a roll. I'm just going to do this one next. All right.